Okay, this I'm describing here because it's in the book, but uh, we're gonna devote a whole lecture on functions, uh, maybe more. So let's start, so calling functions. So function is basically a collection of uh, code, collection of instruct, uh, instructions that's already written somewhere. And all you do is that you use it. We can define our own functions, but the purpose of a function is that you use a code uh, basically the purpose is code re reusability that you can reuse the code that has already been written okay for instance we use the print function to do what to display the information on the monitor or the screen how the print function works we don't know like what's the code written behind it all we know is that we uh, supply the print uh, command with a number of arguments Arguments are the things that you pass inside the parentheses and then something happens like something is printed on the screen So functions when you call a function you must provide the correct number of arguments and obviously the name of the function If you don't you get an error, right? And then functions return a value etc. So this we will talk about later But let's look at this uh, line down here the last line so it says print abs something. So abs is one function that you will give you the absolute value of whatever is inside the parentheses. So abs minus 73 yields 173. And then you say print that thing on the screen. So there are many functions that are available to us through the Python libraries and so on. Uh, abs is one, round is another, max to find the maximum of numbers, min, and so on. So there are many others. The book lists some of them. There are many others uh, that we can use. You can Google and find whatever functions that you need. Uh, but again, that's the purpose of functions. Then we, when you collect functions into uh, something bigger, they are called modules or libraries. Okay. Then you can import the uh, library and then start using the functions of that library. Why people make libraries is that similar type of functions are grouped together into a single library. Examples are graphics libraries, math libraries, right? So you have a graphics library that you can import and use all the uh, graphing functions, let's say. How do you import a library? You say, you say uh, from this import this function. So from uh, library import this function, right? Or module, sorry. Uh, okay, and then you can simply call the function, okay? So built-in functions, there are many built-in functions. Examples are right here. So they are all in the math module, okay? So from this library, import these functions. 